Hello folks, it's James here and welcome once again to the Movie Mad channel. Uh, I never made a video during the week this week and to be honest with you, I was just tired and there's a few other things, I was busy with work, things like that, so I didn't get around to it. But it was my birthday on Tuesday and <laughs> sorry, I'm losing my train of thought because to keep Cookie quiet while I'm there. Uh, for those of you who don't know, he's my bird because he always chirps in the things. He's he's he we've discovered that he now likes cheesy watsits or the little equivalent. So I had a pack of there, I opened that up and I put a few on his uh, cage and he's eating away at them. <laughs> so as I was saying, it was my birthday and I got two nice presents, one from Roy and one from Martin. Sorry, Larry. And I got some funds and I was in Glasgow yesterday and I had a bit of lunch time and, I, and there was a fop through there and there was a CEX but when I went in the CEX there's just nothing that struck my fancy and when I was in the fop I did have two four keys in my hand well I actually had four four keys in my hand but I just I put them all back and I'll give you a reason why I done that and the two I had in my hand, I had Pulp Fiction in my hand and Red Eye, which was in the two for 30, because I got some money for my birthday, so I got, I could have bought them. And the reason I put them back is that they didn't have slip covers on them, which is a bit of a strange reason to not take them. But I've seen the Pulp Fiction slip cover and it looks really good. And I've seen the Red Eye slip cover and it looks really good as well. So I thought if I'm paying, if I'm, you know, I'm buying it from birthday and I bought them brand new, I'm just disappointed. I would just be disappointed if I bought them and I didn't have the slip covers. Seems a bit strange. A lot of people, you know, wouldn't bother about that. And see if I was buying them at CEX and I was using vouchers, I probably wouldn't have been that fussed about them having a, having a slip cover. But I know for a fact Pulp Fiction is in mine with a slip cover, so I might just go down and uh get that from vouchers because during the week i did go out and i managed to acquire a few vouchers because i spent them all the last time so i'm back up in a little bit of a not a massive amount i've got like 20 pound of vouchers so i could maybe go down and get the pop fiction so we'll decide but first i'll show you what roy and larry sent me so first of all and both of these arrive with slipcovers which is great uh Roy knows I like this franchise. I have got all the others in 4K. I've got Rise, Dawn and War and I really like them. And I watched this movie already and I thought it was a really good addition. And it's Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. So when this arrived at the door, Rob Roy, I, I seen it come through. He didn't say he was sending me anything, but he said he, he, when, I, when I showed him the picture, he said, happy birthday. So it was from Roy. So thank you very much for that. Uh, what I do like about uh, 4Ks is when they do have Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. This one has Dolby Atmos, but it doesn't mention Dolby Vision anywhere on it, which is surprising because it does have Dolby Vision on Disney Plus, I believe. Maybe I'm wrong. But, very nice gift. Very nice slipcover and very nice 4K. So thank you very much for that, Roy. And now, I don't know if this was actually for my birthday or not, but I'm presu I am presuming it is, it is. He's obviously ran out of cheese puffs. Go and give him a second, I'll give him a couple more. <laughs> Cookie, will we show you get you getting some cheese puffs? Yeah, we'll do that. Come on, let's go over and see Cookie getting some cheese puffs. Hey, Cookie. Here we are. Hey. Are you squawking to me because you've not got any? Is that why? Is it? Right, there you go. I'll have to adjust my thing when I go back now. Right. You're not on the Move Mad channel, it's me. Okay, so. 
You eat these. Yeah. You have one of them. You enjoy one of them. That's enough. That'll keep you going. Well, that film, is that okay? Is that acceptable? It seems to be. <laughs> Let's head back. Oh, here we are. I'm at the right level again. I'm not. I'm going to have to fix it. That'll do. That will do. So, as I was saying, Larry sent me this one. And he must have seen in my last video that I've got Superman 1, 2 and 3 and Return now. So he very kindly sent me Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. This does have all bit Dolby Atmos on it. It's 90 minutes long, but it doesn't mention Dolby Vision either. I wonder if the other ones mention Dolby Vision. We've got Superman 3 here. No, it just says Dolby Atmos as well. And we've got the Superman 2 with the Richard Donner cut on it, which is which I, I got for $14.99. But it doesn't have a slip cover. And it just says Dolby Atmos as well. So that's fine. So thank you very much for sending that for me. Uh, so if anybody, you know, does happen to have the slip covers or for Superman and Superman 2 and they're not using them, or they, we know we were just having a wee discussion about that earlier and he was thinking about taking all his off. I do like them. I, I think they, I, I think it makes it look better with slip covers. But would it stop me buying the film? I said no, but it did stop me buying them in HMV or Pop. But that's because I know they've got them and I could probably get them at my HMV in my town with them on for the same price. So there you go. So that may, so the whole point of that was that now I've got all five of those. I've got the first four Superman and Superman Returns. The cheese puffs didn't last long, really. Uh, I could trade in my Superman blu-ray box set and I did that and I got eight pound back for it so that meant I got got a little bit of vouchers vouchers back which is excellent so I found another few things in the charity shop over the week uh because I got three blu-rays for a pound out of the British Art Foundation one was Rachel getting married, and that's not oh, Anne Hathaway, and that's not something I was going to watch. So I just traded that and got 90p, and I kept the other two, and that's the reason I was getting the three, because these two I do have on DVD, but I do not have on Blu-ray. And Royce's is a really good one, which is The Debt, uh, with Helen Hunt, Sam Worthington, Jessica Chastain, and Tom Wilkinson. So yeah, it looks looks a looks a good thriller type one there, and for thirty three p, thought that's excellent. And the other one is a Russell Crowe movie that I've not seen, and it's got Ben Affleck, and it's got Helen Mirren, it. and it is State of Play. So I thought, you know, for three for a pound, I'll take these two. I'll get the ninety p for the other one, and these two can be added into the collection. Now I do say I'm trying to be a bit more selective in what I'm adding into the collection. But when things like that come up and they're quite, you know, reasonable, I can watch them, I can take them out, and if for any reason they, they aren't to my liking, I'm going to put them in the poly folders, because I've got, a, I've, well, I could probably do with some more of them, because I've not got any left, but you get my point, I can take them out, put them in the poly folder, and they're not going to take up much space uh, in there. And again, for 33p each, I thought that was a good, that was a good deal. And as I say, I also got 10 for a pound on DVDs. And the reason I took the 10 for a pound on DVDs was because one of them was a Sherlock Holmes ITV box set that traded in for seven pounds. So I took that, got a seven pound voucher. There was a few other ones in there that I thought might be of interest to me. For example, this again, this was 10p as well. So bear in mind, these were 10p. Uh, a nine film war classic box set and I've got one, two, three, four, five I've got all of these on Blu-ray but the one I didn't have 
is the Sand Pebbles. I've never seen that, and that's a Steve McQueen movie. Also, I'm pretty sure I've got 12 o'clock high, but I, but I haven't watched it yet. And I thought, you know, for 10p, that's an excellent box set. It does trade in for a pound fifty, but because I've not got the Sand Pebbles, I was thinking about. I can't. I might. I might watch the Sand Pebbles, and then trade, and then and then trade it, trade the set. And uh, Roy says you can get the Sand Pebbles on Blu-ray. So if I like it, then I can upgrade it. But I couldn't it resist for ten p. Excellent. And there are some great movies in there: Battle of Britain, The Great Escape. On Ryan's Express, The Longest Day. I say that like I've seen them, but I haven't seen The Longest Day yet. I've always, well, I've got it, and Larry sent it to me, and I really should go watch it. But I say it's been just been busy during the weeks lately, and I've not been watching as many films as I usually do. Uh, but I definitely seen The Bridge Too Far and Battle of Britain. They're two of my favourites. Great Escape, and I see Arrow is is releasing The Great Escape. On 4K with HDR, so that's going to be good. And also, they're releasing demo is uh, releasing Demolition Man, so that's another couple of classics that I would like to add in the collection soon. So, saying to that, there was another. So that was two out of ten. Traded out already. Traded in the Sherlock Holmes one, and I picked up these DVDs. Uh, again, another movie I've not seen yet, and this is original. All Quiet on the Western Front. I don't have that on Blu-ray, so, you know, I don't think I've got it on DVD either, so I took it again for 10p. This one, I'll tell you the truth. This is, this is the, I bought these the same day the eBay announcement came out, where the eBay are not charging listing fees for private sellers. It's hard, it's, 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 Halloween time. I've actually got Salem's Lot Blu-ray in the Blu-ray player right now. I watched one half of it last Saturday, or was it last Thursday? It was last Thursday or Friday. But I got to halfway through, and it was an hour, three hours long, and I was like, "I've got to get up." So I turned it off, and I've not what yet watched the second half. But I thought it's Halloween time. A sealed copy of Salem's Lot, as there's no fees on eBay anymore. That might mean that I could sell that for a few pounds and get some, you know, funding towards my collection. So I t took that and I've popped it on it. I've popped it on eBay. See if I can get a, a sale for it. Since it's sealed, since it's coming up to Halloween, that might that might work and get my few pennies towards the old budget for getting things in the collection. And I picked up this one. I have watched this one, and that is a great one. It's Flight of the Phoenix original. I was actually discussing. This with my dad the other day, because we both watched Flight of the Phoenix and uh, the remake, and he says that the remake is better. And I, I, to some extent, I agree with that. The one with Dennis Quaid is a good one, but this is still an outstanding film. Both of them are really good. Sometimes the remakes are just as good. He's running out of cheese puffs, clearly. <laughs> so, so. Uh, I took that one as took that one as well for 10p. I don't believe I have it on DVD. If I have and it's a mistake, I will just give it away. Next, this one, I had no interest in it. Jane Austen Sandra it trades for 90p. I was going to take it into CEX, I've just not done it yet. And the last one was a movie that I have not seen and I don't believe I've got on DVD, and that's The Quiet Man. I don't think I've got it in any format. Will you be quiet, Cookie? Right, so I've got the quiet man there. So out of my ten for a pound, I got seven. So let, let me think. So I spent two pounds in the charity shops. I traded one for 90p. I traded one out of the ten for seven pounds. So I'm probably going to get about £10 of vouchers left. And that almost is enough to buy Pulp Fiction on 4K with slipcover. That, so that is what I've been doing over the past week. Now, if you'll excuse me one more time, I'm going to give Cookie another... Maybe this is a bad idea, 
because if he keeps doing that, he clearly wants more cheese puffs. Right, I'm back in a minute because there's still one more thing I want to discuss. Cookie! <laughs> the last thing I want to discuss on the channel is our continued love of physical media. Because if you're watching this channel, you probably love it like me. And why streaming is becoming problematic. Now, first of all, we've got, we started off with Netflix. That's all there was really, and everything was on it. And now we've got five or six different services. We've got Netflix, we've got Amazon Prime, we've got Paramount Plus, we've got MGM, we've got uh, Disney Plus. And Disney Plus has removed the Indiana Jones movies. What reason have they given? I don't know. I think Paramount owned them and maybe they're going over to Paramount, something like that. But I don't think they're available for streaming on any platform right this second. Kingdom of the Christmas Crystal Kingdom of the Christmas The Kingdom of the Crystal Skull is available on Amazon Prime. But this is why streaming is becoming so problematic. You can't rely on them to keep the stuff on there. And you turn on Disney Plus now and there's adverts. You turn on Amazon, there's adverts, unless you're prepared to pay a premium price. So it used to be like, yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll get Netflix, nine ninety nine. that's great. We'll have that. And that's that's massive amount of viewing. So now you've got Disney Plus. So the, the streaming things we've got in this household and... I'm going to tell you right now, I only play for one of them. My wife chooses to pay for the other ones. And because she chooses to pay for them, I can, I can access them. But I don't choose to pay for them. So I pay for Netflix. My wife plays for Disney+, Plus, Amazon Prime, Paramount, and the MGM. And I'm like, so I don't know how much that all is, but it's not 10 in a month anymore. I think Netflix is 17. And when I went to cancel it, the kids went mental. I went, can I do that? It's got our stuff on it. And I'm like, okay. So that is the only reason I've got Netflix, is for the kids and not for myself. And the other ones, you know, some of the, there are some good stuff on Paramount Plus and MGM and Prime that you don't you don't see all the time. But if they happen to disappear overnight, I've got my collection. And that's and that's what why I've got this. I did trade in a lot of horror movies out of my collection a couple of weeks ago. But they were ones I was never going to watch anyway. And if they were on the Paramount Plus or that, I would have probably strolled past them. So I just wanted to get your thoughts on streaming and how problematic it's been lately. So let me know your thoughts. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.